Hello, my name is Gareth Lutty and this is a screencast which will go through the tutorial that I post on the overclock.net forums for how to use Python and Glade to create a simple GUI application. We're going to create a really simple program which adds two numbers together and displays the result in a nice GUI manner. You're going to need a general knowledge of Python to be able to do this and hopefully this video tutorial will help give you a better idea and understanding of how to do the things involved. I have noticed that a few people seem to get a bit confused as I was a little brief during the explanation throughout the tutorial so hopefully the video will show you better. One of the small changes I'm going to make and I say small but it's actually rather major is to move from Glade to gtk.builder. This is the new built-in part of the GTK, the GNOME toolkit, which allows you to um, load user interfaces from files, XML files. Now, originally, uh, a bit back, you would have implemented this using a special extra library called Glade, but that functionality has now been built into the GTK so it's better to use that rather than Glade. So in this example I'm going to use code provided by Fokker Charlie here who converted my original code to GTK.Builder which is a very similar system and if you have used Glade before it will seem very similar it's literally changing the names of a few functions it shouldn't pose any major problem alright then where to begin obviously we need some basic code for adding two numbers together here I have a short example in which I use object orientation which is rather unnecessary at this point but in a larger scale application would be more worthwhile you'll notice the class adder is the one that does the actual work it has a member which is zero the result at the moment obviously it doesn't have a value and then this is its um, initiator uh, constructor, there we are, that's the right word this is its constructor, the init function uh, this should all be pretty basic if you know Python but uh, I'll just go through it quickly it takes two arguments, two numbers um, and itself which is a internal part of Python for objects and then it sets the result to the sum of the two numbers and I've used uh, int there to make sure that they are numbers um, so you can pass this as string as long as it's um, a string it can convert to an int it will do um, which is shop a few problems when you're passing it and then a really simple function which is give result and that just returns the result and then we have a quick bit of scripting here for a command line interface which is what CLI stands for um, <clears throat> so it asks for the two numbers, the user types them in, it creates an instance of the adder class with the two numbers and then it gives the result using that class it's created and the give result function and then asks if you want to go again. It's pretty simple uh, so let's see that in progress. By the way uh, I have got, this isn't the whole of my screen so if you wonder how I'm magically switching windows I'm a uh, moving my mouse cursor to my other screen just makes it easier for the tutorial purposes alright then, uh, let's first get into the right directory and then uh, run the script oh, this is of course something you've got to watch out for um, under Linux, if you're running Linux, you can do this under Windows, you'll need to install uh, PyGTK and the GTK uh, which is probably a bit harder under Windows, I haven't done it myself under any Linux distro, just use your package manager, should be easy um, but of course you can't run um, a program unless you've set it to executable otherwise you'll get permission denied a lot of people get that error and try and run stuff as root that's not the problem and it will still give you permission denied so uh, now I've got executable set, there we go so this is our simple command line interface version so it asks two numbers, so let's give it two 
and 3 and would you look at that it gives us a result of 5 so we have a basic working system there okay then let's go again and then just see what happens if we do here we are uh, it gives us a nice uh, error rather than quitting out the program uh, it tells us that one of them is not a valid integer although I've misspelled integer which wasn't very clever but uh, here we go uh, so anyway that's the basic idea it's not very interesting but it's a start now here is where it does get interesting the GUI part uh, let's open up Glade this is Glade now originally Glade was two things both the library that you used to load XML files as GUIs and also as a piece of GUI software to allow you to create GUIs which uh, is a little ironic but here we go uh, you can pretty simply create stuff just by clicking around it's much nicer to use than trying to write XML by hand uh, I think most people would agree it's a lot easier that's troublesome, you get instant feedback on everything so it's a much nicer system to use uh, there we go okay so that's Glade uh, what do I want to open up uh, let's go back to here we are my code now uh, let's go this was the original code for when I was using Glade if you look at that code pretty quickly you'll see that we're reporting both the GTK and the Glade library uh, and we're also uh, doing a few things here with Glade the file's called main.glade um, it's pretty much the functions get widget there and then if we go over to the new version which is designed for gtk.builder you'll see we've got one less dependency which is always a good thing we're not importing Glade anymore um, and we've also got some slightly different syntax here uh, use the UI extension rather than .glade um, it, it's all pretty much the same thing get object instead of get widget um, it should all make sense I'll go into detail about what all of this does but that's just if you're used to glade gtk.builder is what's going to be used in the future so it's probably worth learning in that now rather than going to Glade which is depreciated at the moment so uh, let's take a quick look at the code um, we've got our adder function sorry class even which is exactly the same as in here uh, the ones object orientation you can add uh, you can take that object reuse it and it's perfect as it was and another quick note uh, when I did run this code you'll see I just used dot slash shoot CLI dot PY which I needed to uh, set as executable for now as well as setting as ex executable if you want to run it like that you do need to set a shebang which is this first line it's a comment and it just really simply tells it what to run it with otherwise it will presume it's a bash script and that's not right and you'll end up with some weird stuff going on um, if you want to run it without doing those two things then you can just do python .py, and that'll work now um, as opposed to, sorry that's not an error, I used a control c to quit it just quickly um, just let you know uh, so yeah, that's what you need to do. Sorry to go a bit off track there. Okay then, so uh, we have the adder class, which is the same in both. Uh, then we have uh, the new GUI class, which is used to do it. Um, and I think I'll go more into that after I have uh, created the actual interface we'll be using, because it'll make more sense in context. So we'll click on new. Uh, in theory, here we go. Now we get the two options we can either build in the GTK Builder file format which is what you're going to need if you're using GTK Builder or the libglade format which you're going to need if you're using libglade um, as I say GTK Builder is the one to use at this point in time it's more up to date one um, you can convert between the two pretty quickly um, and easily it's not as I say they're very similar things um, but GTK Builder is the one to go for now um, Object names are unique within the project. Yep, we'll leave that.